Are you looking for a super easy dessert that makes people think that you spent forever on it? I have one for you today. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to Melinda's Messy Sink. Today I am finally doing a fall dessert. We've been so busy I haven't had time, but I thought that I would like to use up some of our apple orchard some of our apples from the orchard and I would make an apple crisp. I have my oven preheating on 350 degrees and I have taken a nine by 13 pan and I have buttered the dish. My husband cut up 10 cups of apples. He peeled and sliced these. So we're gonna get them all in the bottom of the pan. You will see I do have a little bit of liquid I don't know if you can see how well you can see it um, in here. And that is just some um, ginger ale to make it the apples not turn. My husband got this recipe from a gentleman at his work. It is so delicious. I will make sure to um, give the full recipe in the description box below. Um, it's super easy, but it is so good. I usually make one or two of these every fall. We're gonna set this aside. I have two sticks of softened butter. I actually forgot to set them out before I went to church and I had um, watched a lot of people deep, uh, soften their butter in the defrost um, temperature on their microwave. So I gave it a try the first time. The first stick, I took a little long, too long and then the second one was perfect. So that defrost hack for to make soft butter actually works. To this butter, I am going to add sugar, flour, salt, and cinnamon. And I am going to use my pastry brush and I'm going to get this well combined. Sometimes this takes a little while, but the weight is so worth it. As a reminder, I'm gonna put all of the instructions in the description box. I'll have it all typed out with the measurements and everything. All right, I've got it all done. It's like coarse sand. So what we're gonna do super duper easy. We are just going to add this crumble piece to the top of our apples. And try not to make a mess like I'm doing at the moment. We're gonna spread it all out. All right guys, that's it. This goes into the oven for about an hour. You want your apple soft and the top to be nice and brown. I'll be back whenever it comes out. Now that we have our apple crisp in the oven, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today's video. Today's video is a dessert collaboration hosted by my two friends, Vicki Wright and Rebecca Peaky. I will have both of their channels listed below in the description box, as well as a playlist of wonderful creators who have prepared desserts for you today as well. With the holidays coming up and all of the get togethers, you cannot have too many desserts in your repertoire. If you are new to Melinda's Messy Sink from another channel, I want to welcome you to my channel and would love to have you join my YouTube family. 
Melinda's Messy Sink is all about food. So we do recipes, what's for dinners, um, lots of different food collaboration. We do um, spend the day in my kitchen here. You name it, when it deals with food, grocery hauls, meal plans, I almost forgot. So I'm here to make it easier for you to get dinner on the table at your house. I'll be back to finish up this apple crisp once the timer bell goes off. Our apple crisp is out of the oven. I'm gonna let it cool for just a bit and then we're ready to try. And here is our piping hot apple crisp just out of the pan. The top is crunchy. The smell is so amazing. There's only one thing that can make this apple crisp better. Blue Bunny ice cream. And there you go, apple crisp and vanilla ice cream. And that's gonna do it for today's dessert collaboration video. This apple crisp is so good, y'all. It's so easy. I cannot brag on that enough. It tastes like you were out there growing the apples and you picked the cinnamon and grounded it up and all that kind of good stuff. It's good. And most importantly, it's super easy. So I just wanted to give you a couple quick reminders. Don't forget to check out Vicki and Rebecca's channels, um, our host of today's collaboration, in my description box below, as well as the playlist. If you're looking for some dessert cooking motivation, you've got it right there in that playlist in my description box. Thank you guys so much for following along in today's video. And most importantly, don't forget, Jesus loves you. I'll see you guys in the next one.